guys, it's Andrea from the blog Pine and Prospect Home and today I have five unconventional Mother's Day gift ideas that I want to share with you. Five things that don't cost any money at all. They will cost you something but it won't be money and I'm going to share them with you today. Now if you're new here, I am a mom of three boys. My oldest is seven, my second is five years old, my youngest is two, he'll be three next week, and I have a fourth on the way. We don't know what we're having yet. You know, lately I've been seeing a lot of bloggers and influencers sharing Mother's Day gift guides and Mother's Day gift ideas, and that's awesome. I'm not against a physical gift. Believe me, I've gotten some over the years that were super special and that meant a lot to me. But sometimes I think an act of service uh, can mean a whole lot more. Some of these will be applicable um, to a specific age group, and I understand that, but I hope it can still get your mind kind of, uh, your wheels turning uh, as you start to think about Mother's Day. So the very first unconventional Mother's Day gift idea that I have for you is aimed more towards young mamas. If you know of a young mom in your life, I would say the very first idea that pops into my head is to offer to babysit her kids. You have no idea what a blessing that could be to pop over and say, hey, I'm gonna take your kids for a full day, you stay home, you get done whatever you need to accomplish, and I will have them all day long, I'll drop them off after dinner tonight, and you take the day for yourself. Yes, we can get technical here and say, well, it would cost me money to have to feed them. And I get it, that's true, but kids are easily pleased, believe me. You don't have to spend lots and lots of money to, to uh, make a child happy. So that's my first idea for you today. Type up a little coupon, write out a little card, tell the mom when you're going to do it. You have no idea what a blessing that could be for a young mom. It could just be everything she needs to just feel refreshed and get back on track. My second unconventional Mother's Day gift idea that doesn't cost anything is to offer to clean for another mom. Now this could go both ways. Um, I have helped older women clean their homes before um, and I know that my mom has come over and helped me clean my home, my home before. Um, this one is a little tricky. Obviously, some women might not want this. Some women might be mortified for you to come over and look at their homes. You really have to check with them first. That could even be offensive, <laughs> potentially, for you to say, your house needs to be clean and I'm coming to clean it. Um, but offer first, of course. Ask, hey, can I come help you catch up on housework? Is there anything I can do um, to help you uh, get your house clean. Now, if you are willing to spend a little bit of money, maybe you can offer to hire a cleaning service for a mom and then she won't feel so awkward about having someone she knows come over. Um, I've never had that happen to me before. I feel like I would probably just, I wouldn't even know what to do with myself if a cleaning service came over. I've always cleaned my own home, but that's an option too. The third unconventional gift idea that I have for you today is to offer to bring a meal to another mama. Again, this can be uh, for both age groups, both older moms and younger moms. But to know that dinner is taken care of is just the best feeling in the world. For someone who is like me, who's a planner, who often gets ingredients out ahead of time, meat out ahead of time, if I'm having soup, maybe I'll even make it ahead of time, I would definitely let the mama know, maybe a week in advance, a couple days in advance, hey, I'm gonna take care of dinner for you on Thursday. So I'll be there around five o'clock. I just wanted to let you guys know. Will it cost you something? Yeah, of course. It'll cost you your time. Um, and yeah, technically it will cost some money to pay for the ingredients, of course. But you know, you can make a spaghetti dinner for not a lot of money. And you know, for a young mom like myself, sometimes I get stuck in my own little bubble and I'm just focused on my own needs, the needs of my children, what's happening in our lives and our schedule. And I think it's important for us too to sort of open our eyes to the things that other people are facing. Um, think about the women in your church. You know, what are they going through? Uh, are they um, helping a spouse battle cancer? Do they have older children in their lives that they're having to help support right now? Would it be a blessing to them to have someone say, hey, I wanna bring you a meal tonight just to kind of give you a night off 
and make life easier for you. So that's my third idea for you guys. My fourth unconventional Mother's Day gift idea that doesn't cost you any money, just your time, would be helping out with a project. Uh, anything, it can be anything, and this kind of goes along with cleaning, but think about asking another mom, hey, is there something that you've been wanting to do that you just haven't had time to do? Or uh, maybe you just need an extra hand with it because of your kids or whatever it is, what can I help with? Have you been wanting to maybe clean out your basement? Can I help you organize your closet? Can I um, help you go through the kids' toys? I know that that's something that I, kind of always dread doing is <laughs> just organizing the boys' bedrooms, going through their clothes, hauling up bins, putting clothes away. I mean, there's so many things that I think um, it just helps and it's more fun when you have another person alongside you. Uh, maybe it's a DIY project or painting a bedroom or, I mean, the list goes on and on. And you could be a huge blessing just to offer your time. Hey, I'll come over. Uh, maybe you could just come and sit with the kids and read to them and color with them so that that mama can get some things done around her house or she can tackle a project she's been wanting to tackle. So that is my fourth unconventional Mother's Day gift idea for you. And then finally, the last idea that I have for you that I think is really special, it's so simple, and it's something that sadly isn't done a lot these days, and that is to write a letter of encouragement. Um, I almost got emotional, holy cow. Um, I cannot tell you some of the letters I've gotten from women in my church just at the perfect time in my life. I was going through something, I felt overwhelmed or stressed out or whatever the case was, and I got an old fashioned letter in the mail from someone just telling me that they were praying for me, uh, telling me that I was doing a good job, telling me that uh, I was a blessing to them, whatever it is, just taking the time to write an old fashioned letter. Uh, this just doesn't happen a lot anymore and when someone takes the time to write out a letter, it just means so much. And if you're watching this, I want you to think about when the last time is that you actually sat down to write a letter to someone. Think about your own mom. When's the last time you sat down and wrote a letter and told her thank you for everything that she did for you uh, growing up? And I totally understand there are a lot of women that I've talked to that don't have a great relationship with their mom or maybe their mom is not even in their lives and never has been in their lives. But if you're looking for a way to encourage and uplift another mom, I really want you to think about this idea of just writing them a letter to encourage them. It will be so much more special than anything you could have purchased for them or bought. Uh, just having that special uh, letter that you took the time to write. So I hope these five ideas sort of <laughs> got your wheels turning. Maybe you could even pair some of these ideas with something physically that you purchased whether it be flowers or whatever it is that you are planning to purchase for that special mom in your life for Mother's Day. But I hope these ideas helped. If you are new to my channel, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.